wake up, man. Actually, uh, uh, I guess that speech is kind of stupid. Sometimes I forget that these are on a day delay. Today's Monday for me, but if I go on that whole, like, Monday rise and grind, it's not even Monday. Uh, whatever. So, a nice and cool 928. I assume the rec center is going to be at least not too packed. So that's perfect for me to get a solid chest day in. Uh, this this gym's dumbbells only go up to 130s. So I think I might... I think the, it'll probably start off with an incline barbell. Just because I've got nothing else at my disposal. Which I can load as much weight as I want to for my first few fresh working sets. But after incline barbell, I can do whatever. I think I'll move on to incline dumbbell. Only the 130s. But after a few hard sets of incline barbell, the 130s will be enough. Some machine press. And then flies. No need to overcomplicate it too much. The only kind of ideas I really think of when I have my... Or when I go through what my chest day is going to look like. Is I say, alright. I want to do some heavy pressing. Maybe get lighter with the pressing as I get weaker. You know, my, um, my fourth set of pressing... It's not going to be as much weight as my first set, of course, which I'm not saying you have to start with your heaviest sets, but with chest, that's kind of always what I liked. I don't really like doing pec flies first, and part of it is just out of fucking, you know, functionality of the weights that I have at my disposal. I probably wouldn't mind pec flies first if the pec fly machine went heavy enough that I can only do like a 10 rep set when I'm fresh. Most pec decks, the stack is within your grasp. Uh, I mean, I guess that depends on your strength, but you know, I would love a pec deck that's like, I was just doing a whole little, <laughs> I was getting, I love a gym where all the machines are heavier than, you know, any fucking human could ever lift, at least without reasonable form. You know, I guess anybody could probably wrench a crazy amount of weight, but with legit form, I wish pec decks were at least twice the weight that they really are now. So, if the only movements that I can really load my pecs up with when I'm fresh is, you know, incline barbell, incline smith, maybe a machine press, then that's what I'm going to do. So, incline barbell, dumbbell, machine press, cable flies, that'll be fucking perfect. That will be freaking perfect. So in terms of volume, I don't know, maybe eight, nine sets total. It shouldn't take too long. And since this is just a one muscle group lift, I mean, I could I could see being done 45 minutes after I start the worst, the worst, after I start the first working set. <clears throat> so, fuck, man. Oh, I was about to say nothing else to discuss. There is something else to fucking discuss. Guess what weekend is coming up? Guess what little freaking weekend? Arnold Classic. Arnold freaking Classic weekend. Columbus, Ohio. I, uh, you know, I'd never been until last year. So I'm glad I got to go as a spectator then. But no, this is going to be fucking cool. I, uh, this is one thing. It's... We all get the gist of how big people can be. And in the realm of the people you'd see if you actually go there. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get to get fucking lost in the fucking crowd and some of these 300 pounders walking around. But as big as people are you know, on a YouTube video or in Instagram pictures, when you see a real fucking freak in person, <laughs> it's just fucking badass. That's why I love these... Uh, which I know it's kind of silly for me to say since I haven't gone to them that much. But that's kind of why I love these conventions. Because it's just a fucking... Like, apart from the fact that it's just badass, it's just a congregation of fucking you know, lifters. You know? Which, I guess it would make sense I'd be excited about it, but it really is fucking cooler than you would think. Plus, there's a lot of fancy shit, too. It's not just bodybuilding. If you've never been, it's all sorts of machine equipment designers, 
fancy pants, supplements, just a fucking bazillion things. But I'll say it one more time and then we actually get started. But it is fucking surreal seeing people that you've only seen on your phone in real life walking around. Oh, it's fucking fun. So I can't wait to see every, I mean, fucking every name under the sun. That's gonna be fucking sick. So make sure I'm nice and carved up, big as possible. That'll be fucking baller. But before then, let's focus on what's at hand. Getting as crazy of a chest bump as, I'd say humanly, but as, as crazy of a chest bump as I can get in my current state right now because they will only get crazier from here on out. But let's just hope that I can get a bench without waiting too long. 325 feels just about right. Let's drop to three. Let's do some dumbbell. Okay, so these are just the 130s, nothing spectacularly heavy. But after those sets of incline bench, this will feel like a fucking heavy set. You know, this is one thing you kind of uh, may not be super intuitive to people, but you know, weight really is just a number. So if I can do 365 for 10, Right? That's a pretty heavy set. But now that I'm this fatigued, if I can only do 130s for 10, then the weight is going to feel like it's the same difficulty. I feel like I was going to have a, a concluding statement after that little observation. But I forget. Let's just throw this shit around. Let's use the machine press. Enough of this. Uh. 
Okay. I got dropped to three. I think that's enough pressing. Yeah, it's like seven sets of pressing. I think maybe even just after one set of flies, I'm gonna be fucking done. I already feel fucking pumped to a relatively insane degree. I just need the finishing touches. Maybe even a drop set of sorts, but I'll decide how the first portion, first portion feels. That's enough. Let's get out. All right, so seven sets of pressing followed by one set of flies. Maybe not my typical set distribution. I feel like usually it's a little more like five pressing and then three or three flies-ish, but felt pretty fucking good. So let's see what there is to fucking see. Shit. It's getting harder and harder to get these fucking pump covers off, which is a good sign, of course. Don't get me fucking wrong. Hard to impossible to fucking complain about that. That's for fucking sure. No. Oh. oh my goodness. What else is there? Oh, dude. I'm st <laughs> my chest is so fucking pumped up, even reaching behind me. Like, it feels so fucking tight. Oh my god, I love it. Well, they're about to close. Let's get in the car and scram. This is a good one. <laughs> Woo. Solid chest day. But, damn. So, I was a little bit conflicted today. Right, so I drove back home to school, or I drove to school from home, so I uh, I didn't lift until late. Like, it's, uh, it's fucking 11 right now. I didn't lift that whole time. I was doing some chatting at the end, but I wanted to go to a gym that was uh, like 40 minutes away, which had, you know, dumbbells up to, I know they've got 180s, so as much as I would do in a well, I don't even know how much I can do. I've only ever done 150s for real working sets. I've like played with the 165s like once, but I like, like my shoulders kind of fucked up. So I stopped. So 150s is the most I've ever done for a real set. So I wanted to go to that gym to do like the 180s or something, something. Well, that's probably too much. At least the 165s for sure. Maybe even 170s. It's kind of hard to gauge. Like, the jump in weight from like a regular barbell bench to dumbbells, a 10 pound jump in dumbbells is pretty fucking heavy. But I wanted to go there, but it was so late. I mean, fuck, I, I wouldn't even be done with the lift yet. I'd still be doing it. And then I'd get home at like one. So I decided to just come to the gym close by, maintain a, at least a reasonable sleep schedule. But yeah, I really do need to say 
later on fucking incline barbell because I get so much front delt active fuck act <laughs> I was about to say active fuck invasion. Uh, I get so much front delt in incline barbell. It's not. I mean, it's to the point where it's not even fucking worth it in my mind. Like at the end of today's chest day, my front delts were fucking pumped as if I hit them. And I don't need any of that, man. I need my front. If anything, I wouldn't mind if my front delts stayed the same size as they are now and never grew. I need everything else to grow around them. So, don't, uh, unless circumstances dictate, I don't want to see me do an incline barbell again. And make sure you fucking rip on me if you do. Incline dumbbell is where it's fucking at. So I'm just going to fucking cruise around and think about some other shit to yap about. As I was watching Goodwill Hunting today. I'm getting, um... I'm really fucking drawing a blank on what shows to watch or like movies and stuff. So I'm kind of going through some good ones. I might end up watching the one where he gambles with uh, Jan Yankovic. But that's just because TikTok keeps showing me fucking um, Matt Damon movies. What, uh, what, what the hell am I looking at right now? The car totally stopped in the middle of the road. Whatever. Uh, but I was going to say something after that. That was like a transition. Uh, eh, whatever. What freaking ever. But. Chest. Pumped. Weight lifted. Now i got to eat some fucking food. Um, hard to say exactly what I'm going to eat, but I know it'll be fucking high in carbs. I was much more hydrated today. I had the, um, I actually filled up a jug of some Gatorade and some electrolytes. So that was pretty fucking good for me. So I could tell on my last, not last lifts, but uh, when I did shoulders like two days ago, I could tell I was fucking dehydrated. And uh, not just from like, you know, a physical, like, oh, I'm kind of weaker. Like, no, you just kind of get a sense for this sort of thing. If you really are on your game when it comes to drinking like a ton of fucking fluids, then you know, any day that you're kind of, um, you know, let's just say compromised, or you didn't drink enough, then you're going to feel it, right? It's like when you have a really good fucking sleep schedule. Like you go to bed at 10 every night, you wake up at 6 or 7 or whatever every night, it's nice. And if anything fucks with that, you fucking feel it. That's what I should be doing. I need, really, I need to get a better schedule so I can have a legit bedtime. As fucking childish as that sounds. Because I've, um, you know, my sleep schedule has gone through a variety of states. From, you know, insanely shitty, all over the place. That's kind of what it's been as of late, which is really not ideal. I gotta be resting and fucking recovering. To... Mainly, um, whenever I'd work my summer job at the city, I, oh, my routine was fucking rigid. That was the best. Because it would be like, wake up at like 4.30, cardio, come back home, shower, breakfast, whatever, go to work, paint crosswalks all day till 2.30, and then straight to the gym, and then I had all night to chill. Fuck, dude, some days I'd go to bed at like fucking 7. And in terms of, um just subjective feeling Dude, having a really consistent schedule like that is the fucking best you know, the more haywire you get when it comes to how often you sleep and like sleep irregularities and everything else you're just gonna notice it man and it kinda sucks because it's a little bit of a sacrifice to be on a schedule like that because you can't be so spontaneous with your plans you know you gotta say no sometimes to like going out and doing whatever. Uh, Cause like if you fucking woke up that early, man, you're gonna be tired. But it's definitely better. That's what I gotta start doing. I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. I would not mind <laughs> fucking teeth brushed, cozied up in bed at ten o'clock every fucking night, and then oof. oh, it's just fucking nice, man. Cause then. <laughs> After you do that for a few weeks, you don't even have to have an alarm. Obviously, I'd still set one, but I'd just sort of wake up spontaneously when it was time to, just out of fucking 
you know, sheer rigid routine. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get fucking sleep pilled. I've been, I've been more of a, you know, TikTok scrolling chump. I tell you what, it would probably not hurt me to delete that, but I'm too much of an addict, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for now and just use it in moderation. So, what else? What else is there to discuss related to chest? What else is there related to chest that can be discussed? Uh, are you benching with a hurt shoulder? Did you go too heavy one day? Did you try to do a one rep max without properly warming up your rotator cuff? And you could tell that when you got in the hole and you started pressing up, you had a crunchy rep. So we're going to transition into an injury chat here. Not cool, man. Not freaking cool. But to an extent, that's just the nature of the beast, right? You're going to tweak shit. Even dudes who fucking train like what you'd say conventionally is like proper form, or not even proper form, but just like perfect form, controlled reps, controlled everything. If you're under a lot of load, there is a risk that you are going to tweak some shit. Now, Doing some dumb shit is probably going to increase that risk, but it can fucking happen to anybody. So, what you should really focus on is how you can uh, react to that and not hurt yourself anymore, or for any longer than necessary. So, I've had reps where part of this is because I had bad form. I used to do incline barbell. Well, I mean, I still do, but I used to do it with my elbows flared way out, like almost like straight instead of more tucked in like I do now. I'm not sure exactly why, but I guess for some reason I like doing that. I could probably feel my chest or something. But when I would do it like that, wrong, I'd say, yeah, probably fucking wrong. I'd always fucking tweak my shoulders. Not always, but it wouldn't be a rare occurrence. And to the point where like, if I tried to keep doing another rep in that set, I could feel my rotator cuff like fucking crunching around. Like, I've had a good where, you know, I'd do like a period of time with fucking no heavy pressing. And I'd have to do all flies while I let it kind of rest up. But with something like that, I love doing kind of just rotator activators. Either with a light dumbbell or... I like it on cables too. Like, you put a cable with a D-handle, eye level right in front of you. And you sit here and you fucking do some shit like this. Dude, my rotator cuffs feel so fucking... Well, actually, I mean, I guess they don't feel good. I just don't notice them at all. Because if they're not warmed up, then I am going to notice them and they feel bad. But before every chest day, I always sit on the cable and really warm them up. And not only do I like that as a preventative measure, because it just makes my shoulders feel better and I can press harder without having to deal with any just, you know, uncomfortability. But also, after I fucking hurt myself, or, you know, anybody hurts their rotator cuff... It's just a good fucking PT movement, man. You know, if every time I've ever hurt my shit, which I haven't as of late because I've been doing a really good warm up, but every time I've ever done it, I always ease back into that rotator cuff work. Face pulls are cool too, but I don't think it's the same. The ro this movement right here, this movement with load, is sick. I fucking love it. So, unless you really destroyed your shit and you've got to have a surgery. I think that'll be a pretty solid attempt at a cure-all. Oh, dude, speaking of cure-alls. Not that I have any lower back problems, but I want a fucking inversion table. I have one at my, uh, at my parents' house in the basement. And whenever I would tweak, uh, you know, tweak my lower back or do a squat that was a little wobbly, I'd always hop on it and it would kind of straighten me out. But yeah, I think I need to get one of those too. One of, uh, one of my power lifter buddies from one of the gyms I go to back home, he was hyping up the reverse hyper. Because uh, I was telling him I did a, a squat rep that was real kind of wobbly because I was so, like, my lower back was so fatigued. I was, like, fucking, like, wobbling back and forth on the way up. Uh, and he was telling me reverse hyper all the way, which I probably agree with. So maybe at the... Uh, Maybe at the end of my leg days or my back days, I might hop on the reverse hyper a little bit. Because there is one in my gym, which is fucking pretty cool. So, 
that might be something to throw into the routine as well. But other than that, I feel pretty fucking good. No major tweaks anywhere except for my sore knee because I fucking scraped it when I fell off my bike. But other than that, we are solid. Which is one thing I like about being bulked up is, you know, for I, I get to lift a lot of weight. But whenever you kind of tweak something, if you have a lot of calories at your body's disposal, then it's going to have a lot of energy to recover itself. It doesn't make sense to me to, well, let me kind of rephrase that. Whenever I get really hurt or anything like that, uh, which is relatively rare, I never get, well, okay, I get kind of hurt sometimes, but I never get too hurt, like too seriously hurt. But I would much rather something like that happen when I'm bulking up just because I'm full of fucking carbs and fats and all sorts of shit, which is going to help me tether back whatever fibers I ripped. I, uh, I cut my hand open really fucking good, I think two summers ago. Fucking poor, poor cutting technique, like a total fool. But like fucking thumb tendons. Honestly, if I really poked it, I could, I could probably see my fucking bones. It was, it was it was rough. I had to get a little like um, a little uh, what's the word? Reparative. Well, I, I had to get like surgically repaired and like you know suture together to fix it. It's good now, but I was dieting down at the time that it happened. You know, I was in a calorie deficit, and you know my diet was still kind of close to the end, so I was gonna start bulking up anyway. But after that happened, I was like, dude, I gotta eat some fucking food because I want a ton of energy so I can fucking recover, right? It just kind of makes sense. So I think that's all I've got to say there. Home. Crap ton of food. Crap ton more food. And then a really good night's rest. Perfect ender to uh, another day for a lifter. So back tomorrow. That'll be a good lift. And dude, all of them are going to be good lifts, man. If you get to, uh, well, I already said I was done, but I love all lifts equally. Do not fucking, do not think otherwise. Some of them are just cool in different ways, you know? A leg day is fucking hard, but it's fun when you're done with it. Chest pump is crazy. Lifting a bunch of weight is crazy. <laughs> Honestly, that could, <laughs> that just goes for all of them. I'm, uh, yeah, that's, that's nothing new. So, back tomorrow. See you next time.